Okay. Hi, Shiloh Green, honey pie. I am going to read another Anansi story to you. This is called Anansi and the Magic Stick. Anansi. Not right. <gasps> They're all sailing down the river. Let's find out what that's all about. Anansi and the Magic Stick by Eric A. Kimmel, illustrated by Janet Stevens. There's Anansi. Okay. It was a fine, bright day. And all the animals were working, working, working. All except Anansi the spider. Anansi lay in his front yard, fast asleep. See, all the other animals are working in their garden. Lion is planting stuff, and the zebra is hoeing. And looks like the warthog has got his little gloves on, and he's doing some planting too. Everybody except Anansi is sleeping. Okay. Warthog, lion, and zebra came walking by. Look at Anansi. He is so lazy, said Zebra. His house is falling apart. His yard is full of trash. He wouldn't even get out of bed if his house caught fire. Anansi is so lazy, he falls asleep standing up, said the lion. He is so lazy, moss grows on his head, Warthog added. Their noisy laughter woke Anansi. Be quiet. I am not lazy at all. I am thinking. My mind is working hard. Anansi tapped his forehead. The animals laughed even harder. Anansi walked away. I don't have to listen to you. I'll find another place to sleep. I mean, think. Anansi started walking, walking, walking down the road. Before he knew it, he had walked all the way to Hyena's house. <clears throat> Hyena lay in his hammock, fast asleep. His house was neat and tidy. His yard was beautifully planted with shrubs and flowers. Look how tidy his house is. What is Hyena's secret? Anansi wondered. No one ever sees him working, yet his house always looks beautiful. I need to find out how he does it. Anansi hid behind a bush, watching and waiting. Hyena woke up. He noticed a pile of dust on the path. He spoke to a stick leaning against the post. There's the stick. Hocus pocus magic stick. Sweep this dust up. Quick, quick, quick. Look, the stick is sweeping the dust. As Anansi watched, the magic stick swept away the dust. When the dust was gone, Hyena said, Abra, Canambra, Cadabra. And down fell the stick. Hyena leaned it back against the side of his house and against the post and went inside his house. That's just what I need, Anansi said. If I had that stick, my house would be as beautiful as Hyena's. No one would laugh at me again. Anansi grabbed the magic stick and ran off as fast as his legs could go. Look, he grabbed the stick. He soon became tired. Why am I carrying this stick? I can carry me, Anansi said. He said the magic words as he remembered them. Hocus pocus magic stick. Carry me home now. Quick, quick, quick. The stick picked up Anansi and carried him along. When they arrived at Anansi's house, he said, Abra canambra cadabra. And kaplom, the magic stick, dropped Anansi on his head. Ow! Anansi cried. Next time, put me down gently, stick. There's lots of work to do. Get rid of this trash first. So Anansi said the magic words. Do you remember the magic words? Hocus pocus, magic stick. Clean my yard up. Quick, quick, quick. The magic stick whirled round and round. It gathered the, all the trash and threw it over the fence into the lion's yard. <clears throat> throwing all the trash over into the lion's yard. The lion does not look very happy about that. Abra canambra cadabra. Down fell the stick. Good job, stick. Next to my house. Hocus pocus magic stick. Fix my house up. Quick, quick, quick. The magic stick whirled round and round. Wood and nails flew through the air 
bright pink paint splashed over the fence. <clears throat> Who did it splash? At, right as Zebra came walking by, the paint splashed over the fence. Anansi's house gleamed, and so did Zebra. He was bright pink too. <clears throat> Look how pink he ended up. Uh, Abra, Canambra, Cadabra. Down fell the stick. Now.